You might think that running a farm and talking to a bunch of demanding strangers every day might make you more anxious and stressed than excited and soothed. However, Stardew Valley's successful mixture of repetition, adorable graphics, and calming music make it a magical mobile game with a massive lifespan. Is this new mobile version the definitive port of the game? No, for one glaring reason. But it is a good time nonetheless. Stardew Valley is a farming simulation game, where you take control of your late grandfather's old farm. You need to plant and harvest crops, spend time fishing, chat and give gifts to the villagers, work through the mines, and help Pelican Town return to its former glory, before the devious Joja Mart came into the picture. The game works its way through four seasons, each of which offers up different fish, crops, and wild items to harvest. You need to keep all of this in mind if you want to help rebuild the community center, Pelican Town's heart. By making friends with villagers, you open up new chunks of narrative, and can also receive gifts via mail. You might even woo, date, marry, or start a family with one of the ten available bachelors and bachelorettes. And yes, you can date all of them at once. On mobile, the UI's been reworked to suit the touchscreen, making it easy to access the menu, craft items, and keep an eye on your relationships and stats. You get around by tapping your destination, or tapping and dragging where you want your character to go. The same goes for performing actions like harvesting berries, tilling the soil, cutting down trees, and mining rocks. If you're not fond of the new inventory bar on the left-hand side, you can just use the standard layout. We were surprised by how good it looks. The graphics are just as bright and beautiful as ever. We were playing on an iPad Pro, and it runs like a dream. However, while it's brilliant to have the game up and running on iOS, and available offline as well, there's one glaring issue with it compared to the recent Switch version which we can't overlook. The combat controls. You do have the option to handle combat manually, or use auto attack, but neither choice feels ideal. Given the size of your iPad or iPhone screen, it's incredibly easy to tap a creature to attack, and accidentally tap a location so you move right next to it. The auto controls do a better job, but quickly become frustrating the further you get into the mine. When faced with massive groups of beasties, it takes way too long to kill them. With bigger monsters like the Duggy, your character just stands in one place and swings their sword until they die, while the Duggy slowly kills you from beneath. Since the mines are such a crucial part of advancing in the game, these tricky controls are a real issue. Now we've got no doubt that you're going to love the world, the farming, and the whimsy of Stardew Valley. It still offers up the same charm, the same story, and the same addictive experience. We do hope the devs tweak the combat in future updates, and that we get the perfect port that we were hoping for. As it stands, there is a weed in this cabbage patch we can't ignore. But those cabbages are delicious.